Hi there, John from Praetorian here. Um, just following on from Dave's introduction video of the fantastic Bluetooth joystick that we have, Blue Line. Um, at the end, Dave highlighted that we can uh, adapt all the functions um, of the buttons and the switches to a range of different things that you can select for your ease of use. So I'm just going to really quickly show you that now. Um, so what you're looking at here is behind the hood, so to speak, um, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, will get you into the back of the blue line and you'll see that we've got this grid here which shows you um, kind of what button and what um, the function you can select so it's as simple as matching what you require as a default just as a reminder um, the left hand button uh, or button one is left click the middle button or button two is middle click and the right hand button or button three is right click that's as default but obviously you can change them as you go um, the left switch output is automatically set to swipe left or move left and the right switch output is automatically set to swipe right or move right. Again they can be adapted to perhaps left click and right click or whatever you want to use if you want to switch, uh, switch adapt the joystick at all. Then you also have the dwell function so obviously if you've used dwell before on a joystick you know that if you don't have access to pressing a button you can dwell onto a, uh, the cursor onto an icon and it will automatically click it for you and you can set the length of time that will take so in case you do it by mistake you can have it as a longer dwell or a shorter dwell. On the right hand side here as well you also have whether or not you, can have the, you, you would like the buzzer on uh, and then we've got the joystick wake up function which you can use to set that um, it'll either wake up with the joystick movement or whether it'll only wake up if pressing a button for security purposes or for transporting the device in a bag for example. So delving straight into it, um, with the blue line on and paired or, you, or unpaired actually, you don't need it paired at all, all you need to do is look at these two buttons here, you've got select and modify, select cycles through uh, which button you would like to uh, adapt or which setting you'd like to adapt and then modify simply changes the uh, setting that's already there. So to show you what I mean, if I quickly press select now, you'll see that it's, button one is the first one, that's the left hand button, then it's set as left click as default. You get a bit of time to change that, so it'll linger on A until it disappears. So for example, if you wanted to change the uh, left hand button to uh, drag, for example, you would press that for one and then press modify all the way to D. And then that's set. Now, if you wanted to make numerous changes, so I'll do I'll do that now and just make a lot of random changes to the different buttons that are there. Fiddle with all them. Um, and then if you wanted to set it up back to default or if you wanted to completely clear down any changes you've made, it's as simple as pressing both buttons for around sort of five or six seconds, up to ten seconds, and you get four beeps to show that it's gone back to default. And there we go, we're back to default. Hopefully you can see that at the end. It's obviously quite difficult to show you with uh, two, fully, two full fingers on two very small buttons. Um, but basically I was pressing both select and modify together. It doesn't matter if you press one before the other as long as you do hold both down until you hear the four beeps. Okay, so that's how you change the functions. That's how you set your blue line up however you'd like. And obviously all of the different functions are in the instruction manual along with um, all the different settings that you can adapt. Thank you for listening.